trying to get that cholesterol down, can't get that blood sugar in check, struggling with weight loss, I got you covered. You're listening to Healthy House Calls with Angel. And today we're talking about everything you need to know to get better with berberine. Enjoy the show. Hello, welcome to Healthy House Calls with Angel. I am your host, Angel Shannon, giving you tips, tools, and holistic strategies to live a healthier life by intentional design. Join me as we explore the landscape of lifestyle medicine, offering practical tips that help you eat, sleep, move, and live better, and help you become fit and functional for life. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the show. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Healthy House Calls with Angel. I am your host, Angel Shannon, founder and executive director of SIVA Health and the SIVA Institute, where we put mindfulness and compassion in action to help you change your life, not just your symptoms, to help you live longer and live better. At SIVA Health and the SIVA Institute, we know that good health is so much more, so much more than just a normal physical and the weight on a scale. Good health is also the sense of harmony, balance, peace, purpose, and fulfillment we feel in our lives. So friends, I have an exciting episode in store for you today. So exciting because if you are a regular listener to Healthy House Calls with Angel, you guys know how much I love the science. Like I love good science. I love even more than good science. I love good plant-based science. Understanding what we can do to rein in this stress what we can do to lower our risk of life-changing, life-changing disease, what we can do to lower our risk factors, what we can do naturally, holistically, but what we can do that is based on good science. That's what I want to share with you today. If you are a person who is looking to lose weight, If you're looking to lower your risk of diabetes, of heart disease, lower your cholesterol, shed some pounds, as I said, get those hormones in balance. If you are looking to fine tune your gut health and by fine tuning your gut health, you guys know what I'm saying here. By fine tuning your gut health, you are actually improving your mental health as well. If this is you, let me tell you, this is an episode you want to tune into. Getting better with berberine is some really exciting science. So I want to jump right in and I want to tell you why I am focusing in on this because let's, let me, let me say this. We are inundated with mental, physical, and emotional stress these days. And that stress is leading to chronic problems, falling asleep and staying asleep, chronic problems with focusing, remembering the things that we used to remember with relative ease. You know, it's leading to excessive weight gain hormones that are just way out of balance, particularly for those who of us who have entered midlife, lots of difficulty losing weight. And because of those things, overuse of prescription medications that are just unreal with side effect profile, side effect profiles. And I will say this from the very beginning, this podcast is all about health education. I am not making a recommendation for or against any particular thing here. What I am doing is bringing you up to snuff on the science and what you can take to your own healthcare provider to discuss so that you lower your risk of life altering disease. You lower the need for prescription medications that could be contributing to some of the symptoms that you are having in your life. Okay. So everything that I'm about to say today is all about health education. It is not 
medical advice. It is not legal advice. It is not financial advice. This is for your health education purposes only so that you can be informed, inspired, and empowered to take action to change your life, not just your symptoms. So I want to jump right in and say, what is berberine? Let's talk for just a quick minute about what berberine is. Berberine is a naturally occurring alkaloid that is found in various plants. I want to dive into this for a minute because this is super important for you to understand and make this connection. I want you to time travel with me back to your chemistry and biology days in high school. Okay, so just time travel with me for a minute. Plant alkaloids are a diverse group of naturally occurring organic compounds. Okay, they're found primarily in plants and they are characterized by their alkaline properties, which means they have a pH greater than seven. Okay, so here's where the chemistry comes in. Alkaloids are synthesized in plants through a rather complex series of biochemical reactions and they're thought to play a role in plant metabolism and defense. Now, as it pertains to human health, some alkaloids have pharmacological properties and have been used for millennia for medicinal purposes. On the other hand, some alkaloids can be toxic to humans and animals. Now, you'll ask me, what are some of the common or well-known plant alkaloids? Well, you already know them. They're caffeine, nicotine, uh, morphine. These are compounds that have been used for centuries in traditional medicine. And they're also, listen to this, they're the basis for the development of many modern drugs. Many of your prescription drugs come from plant alkaloids. Okay. Now the pharmacological or the medicinal effects of plant alkaloids are pretty diverse. So it includes pain relief, stimulation of the central nervous system, and more importantly, anti-inflammatory properties. So many have anti-inflammatory benefits. Let me give you some examples. So pain relief, some alkaloids like morphine and codeine, they are powerful pain relievers and are more commonly prescribed to manage severe pain. Anti-inflammatory properties like your uh, curcumin, which has been found to have anti-inflammatory benefits, managing symptoms uh, and such uh, Uh, conditions like arthritis. Okay. Plant alkaloids have antioxidant activities. So some of your alkaloids like resveratrol and quercetin that I commonly prescribe for my uh, client base during allergy season have been shown to demonstrate antioxidant activity, which means that they can protect cells from damage that's caused by free radicals. Okay. Alkaloids also have cardiovascular or heart health benefits. Okay. They've been treated, uh, used to treat high blood pressure and other cardiovascular conditions. Okay. So it's important to note that while some alkaloids have health benefits, some can be toxic in high doses and need more robust study for their potential health benefits. So it's always important overall to talk to a healthcare professional and or a Um, and I should say a pharmacist and someone who's well skilled in plant-based medicine, herbal medicine. Okay. So coming back to berberine, berberine is a naturally occurring alkaloid that's found in various plants, including golden seal, barberry, and Oregon grape just to name a few. And berberine has been used in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine for centuries, absolute centuries. Okay. And in Western medicine, it is gaining quite a bit of popularity and a lot of clinical study. I want to give you the overview of some of the potential health benefits of berberine based on the science. Number one, blood sugar control. Berberine, interestingly enough, has been shown to help regulate blood sugar levels, making it a really, really good potential natural treatment for prediabetes, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. Heart health. 
berberine has been found to lower cholesterol levels, making it also a really good supplement for improving heart function because when we're lowering cholesterol levels, and by the way, also found to reduce blood pressure, when we're doing those two things, when we're, you know, improving blood flow, lowering the resistance that occurs with elevated cholesterol levels and plaque formation, that is a direct potential improvement, a plus for cardiovascular or heart health. Okay. Here's another one. Hear me when I say this. Gastrointestinal health. Berberine has been shown to help relieve digestive symptoms such as diarrhea and constipation and and improve the gut microbiome. That is huge. If you didn't hear what I just said, press pause, rewind, listen to it again, because when you are improving your gut microbiome, you are leveling up just about every other area of your health, including your mental health. We've talked about gut health before on this show. We'll be talking about it more. I'm always going to be talking about gut health because that is the center of so many bodily functions that are occurring in in your in your, in your body, physically, mentally, all of it. Okay. So berberine has been shown to relieve digestive symptoms such as diarrhea and constipation and also improve the overall well-being of the gut microbiome. Here's another. Listen to me. Bring your ears close and listen to me. Berberine has been found to help regulate metabolism and promote weight loss. Oh my goodness. I just said four things that every single person, especially those of us who are in midlife, need to be tuned into. Blood sugar control, heart health, gut health, and weight loss. Okay. This is huge. This is huge. So I'm going to take a deeper dive here and tell you exactly how berberine does these things, because this science is important for you to know. I don't want you to do what I see so many people do in my clinical practice. They just go out and buy any old supplement that they see on Instagram or Facebook that someone is raving about and you know making all these wild promises about without understanding the science. You need to know what you're taking, why you're taking it, what to look out for, when to know not to take it, what to talk about with your healthcare provider. This is this is like whole person healthcare over here. This is not just, oh, I heard this is a good thing to take and then you run out to wherever and start taking it. You have to understand the science. That is the focus of Healthy House Calls with Angel. Okay, let's keep going. So you're asking me, Angel, how does berberine lower blood sugar levels? How does it regulate blood sugar levels? Well, I'm going to tell you that. There are about four or five ways. Let me get into them really quickly. Berberine actually, based on the science, increases insulin sensitivity. It helps improve insulin sensitivity, which means that your body is better able to use insulin to regulate the sugar levels in the bloodstream. Okay. Berberine stimulates glucose uptake. That means that where there's glucose uptake in muscle cells, well, berberine has been found to stimulate glucose uptake in muscle cells, similar to the way that exercise does. So when where there is increased glucose uptake in muscle cells, that in turn lowers blood glucose levels in the bloodstream and improves insulin sensitivity. Okay. Berberine also can reduce the production of glucose in the liver, okay? Because there's also glucose production in the liver. So it is thought to help lower blood glucose levels that way as well, okay? Berberine has been found to have a beneficial effect on the gut microbiome, like I said before, which can also improve glucose metabolism and, and reduce inflammation in the gut. Okay. Here's another way, because I've already outlined what one, two, three, four ways. Here's number five. Berberine inhibits, which means it stops or slows down 
carbohydrate digestion. Berberine has been found to inhibit the activity of certain enzymes that are responsible for breaking down carbs. What does this mean? It means it can slow down the absorption of glucose from the digestive system. Okay, so this is huge. This is huge. This is something that is saying inside your body as a substance, hey, we're going to make insulin sensitivity better. We're going to make glucose get taken up into the muscle cells better. Okay. Similar to the way that exercise does. We're going to slow down uh, glucose production. We're going to help glucose metabolism take place by way of the gut. And we're going to slow down carb digestion. All of those factors make berberine very, very beneficial for blood glucose management. Now, let me say this. Berberine should not be thought of as a replacement for blood sugar control without talking to a healthcare provider. You're going to hear me say this throughout this episode because I want to make it clear about the benefits and the science of berberine. But I am not suggesting that this is something to rush out and take and get rid of medications without the consultation of a healthcare provider, a pharmacist, a dietitian, and or a clinical herbalist who understands plant-based medicines. Okay. I just have to throw that in there a second time and a third time. (laughs) All right, let's move into the cholesterol part. You're asking me, Angel, how does berberine lower cholesterol in my body? How does that happen? Okay. Let me give you that science. Berberine inhibits cholesterol synthesis. So when I use the word synthesis, that means production. Okay. Berberine can inhibit cholesterol synthesis by inhibiting the activity of an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase. Okay. That enzyme is involved in the production of cholesterol in the liver. So by inhibiting this enzyme, berberine can reduce the amount of cholesterol that's produced in the liver. So it's going straight to the source here. Berberine is going straight to the source, this enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase. See what I said? See what I've told you folks? I love this science. I love the science so much. And I really believe that when you understand the science, that is one of the most empowering you know, things you can have in your toolkit for leveling up your health. When you know what you're doing, why you're doing it and how you're doing it and what things are supposed to do, it is very, very empowering. Okay. Let me keep going. Enhancing cholesterol excretion. So berberine can enhance the getting rid of cholesterol from the body or the excretion, by increasing the activity of another enzyme. That enzyme is CYP7A1 or CYP7A1. That enzyme is involved in the conversion of cholesterol into bile, okay, or bile acids. And this helps to reduce the amount of cholesterol that's actually circulating, okay? So these are two important features here of berberine. It inhibits the production of cholesterol and it enhances the excretion, the getting rid of cholesterol by way of this enzyme CYP7A1. All right. Berberine also has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation in the blood vessels that lead up to the buildup of plaque and cholesterol. Press stop right here. Hear what I just said. I have to press stop here because guys, do you remember that podcast episode that I did about atherosclerosis and plaque formation and understanding what that plaque formation is all about, what that does to the lining of your blood vessels? If you didn't listen to that podcast episode, I want you after this to go back and listen to that atherosclerosis. Oh my gosh. Like you have to understand what the inside of a blood vessel is supposed to look like 
And what happens when there is inflammation, buildup of plaque and cholesterol? Like that is a life changing episode right there. That is a whole course that I gave you for free in that podcast episode. So go back and and listen to that and hear what I'm saying when I say that berberine has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce inflammation in the blood vessels. That can help to reduce the buildup of plaque and cholesterol. Huge stuff here, huge stuff. So I want to tell you the enzymes that are involved in the breakdown of this cholesterol, because I I think this is important. HMG-CoA reductase, that is the enzyme that's involved in the synthesis or production of cholesterol in the liver. CYP7A1 or CYP7A1, this enzyme is involved in the conversion of cholesterol into bile acids in the liver. ACAT, that is another important enzyme that's involved in the conversion of cholesterol into cholesterol esters, which can be stored in the liver or transported to other tissues. So in a nutshell, by inhibiting HMG-CoA reductase, increasing the activity of that CYP7A1 that I just mentioned, berberine can help to reduce this production of cholesterol in the liver and enhance the excretion or the getting rid of cholesterol in the body. And doing these things helps to create more optimal cardiovascular health. Okay, so that is in a nutshell, in a very, very tight nutshell, what berberine's potentials are for good heart health. Isn't that huge? Isn't that huge? Let's take a jump into the gut microbiome because I know you're asking. I know you are so ready for this, right? You're like, okay, I am on board. Here I am. I'm strapped in. I want to know what is this about berberine and gut health? Here we go. Berberine can modulate the gut brain axis. That is the pathway, the communication pathway between the gut and the brain. And you guys know, from this podcast, it's all this. The science is there. The science is there that there is a direct connection between gut health and brain health. Okay. Berberine can modulate the gut brain axis. So we're talking about improving that communication pathway between the gut and the brain. We're talking about improvement of mood, better sleep. We're talking about reducing anxiety, depression, all of those kinds of mental health and well-being symptoms. That is huge. That is huge. And berberine, if I didn't say it already a million times, I'm going to say it again. Berberine has anti-inflammatory properties. So what does that mean? It can help reduce inflammation in the gut, can help reduce inflammation throughout the body. We're talking about all those stiff joints, stiff knees, okay, those sore muscles. It can help reduce the risk of chronic diseases, such as things like inflammatory bowel symptoms, okay? So overall, berberine, by way of its actions, can help to modulate this gut microbiome, increase the abundance of beneficial bacteria, reduce that abundance of harmful bacteria, create a more diverse community of bacteria in your gut, help improve that gut brain axis and reduce inflammation. All of those things are so, so, so important, are so important for your general health and well-being. Okay. Now I know you're asking me if I were to take berberine, how long can I take it? Like what kind of doses are there? And I'm not going to answer that question specifically because again, as I said, this is a question for you and your healthcare provider to discuss. This is, this is a, a personal question based on every individual's health and you know, current medications they're taking, what interactions there may be. It is important to remember that berberine, like any other medicine, plants or medicines, and I want to emphasize that people don't understand, and I see this in my clinical practice all the time, 
Plants are medicines. In fact, they are the original medicines. Okay. So if you are taking blood pressure medications, if you've got a health condition, before you take any supplement at all, you want to be talking to your own healthcare provider to find out if berberine is appropriate for your individual health needs. Now, what I do want to give you is some questions that you should ask your healthcare provider when you're talking about berberine or any other supplement. Okay. So here's some important questions that I want you to be prepared to ask. Number one, why is berberine helpful for me? Could berberine be helpful for me? What health conditions do I have that could be improved or prevented with berberine? That's number one. Number two, you want to find out what the recommended dose of berberine is for you and how you should take it. Are there specific instructions that you need to follow when you are taking berberine or any other supplement? Okay. Number three, you want to ask, are there any potential side effects or interactions with other medications or supplements that I should be aware of? And by the way, this is a conversation you also want to have with your community pharmacist. And if you say, Angel, I don't have a community pharmacist, I'm going to say to you, yes, you do. As of today, you have a community pharmacist. That is your homework because pharmacists are trained and educated in pharmacology, pharmacokinetics. They understand all of these en enzymes that I mentioned earlier. They understand the latest science in, you know, pharmacology and they should be updated and regularly, you know, engaged in, you know, clinical education and, and refreshers and things like this. Make sure you have a pharmacist on board on your team. I personally am a fan for compounding, fan of compounding pharmacists. They are partners with me in my community practice. I think every person should be dialed into a compounding pharmacist. And that reminds me that in an upcoming episode, I am going to talk to you about compounding pharmacists and what they do and why they should be on every person's clinical team, healthcare team. Okay. Number four, what is the quality of the berberine supplement that I am considering? You've got to ask yourself and do your research. Is this supplement coming from a reputable source? Has it been independently tested for purity, for potency? Folks, please, please, please stop buying things from places that you just absolutely have no idea about testing for purity and potency. Let me tell you, you can be doing yourself more harm than good any day of the week when you are not aware, acutely aware of where your supplements are coming from. Okay. What is the evidence supporting the use of berberine for my specific health concerns? Here's where you want to dial into the research. Have there been any clinical trials or studies on this supplement? What were the results? This is why working with a health coach who has clinical expertise is so important. And I'm going to say it. There are a lot of people who are health coaching, who will help you with getting your mindset right, help you with overcoming negative self-talk, help you with all of those really, really important um, you know, mindset shifts for that are necessary for leveling up on your health. But I will say this, you need someone on your team who can marry that with the science, period, point blank. I'm just going to say it. OK, you want to understand what the science is, what the clinical trials have been, what have been the studies, what were the results? OK, anyone who is operating within the field of integrative health, lifestyle medicine and or plant based medicine should know where that evidence can be found and should be able to point you to that. OK, another important question. Are there any contraindications? I always ask my healthcare providers who are on my team. Are there any contraindications? Is there any reason this is not safe for me? 
For example, is it safe for breastfeeding? Now, I'm not worrying about breastfeeding, but that is a question that I'm always asking when I'm giving out, you know, medical advice in my clinical practice is, are you, you know, considering pregnancy or pregnant? Are you breastfeeding? I mean, these are questions that need to be asked. You also want to find out how long you can be taking berberine and when you should expect to see results. How are you going to measure these results? Is it something that you take long term or short term? These are questions you want to be asking. And as it pertains to measuring results, how would you know that berberine is actually working? If you are not testing those results, and I always say, you guys hear me say this, test, don't guess. I do a variety of tests in my clinical practice and in my coaching work where I am working with a client and their healthcare provider to make sure that these numbers are right. What are the numbers? I'm looking at gut health parameters. So I'm doing gut testing. I'm looking at cardiovascular indicators, biomarkers of inflammation. I'm looking at nutritional deficiencies. I'm looking at hormones. So estrone, estradiol, testosterone, cortisol. I'm looking at the full picture. So test, don't guess. I'm also getting my, my clinical, you know, patients and my coaching clients tuned into self-monitoring. Self-monitoring, checking their own blood glucose at home, checking their own blood pressures at home, checking urine, you know, urine biomarkers at home. So these are things that I want you to be talking about in your healthcare discussions with your own healthcare provider. Okay. I should wrap up by absolutely saying too that berberine, just by the research that I've seen, is contraindicated in pregnancy. It has not been studied extensively in pregnant or breastfeeding persons. So its safety is not well established. Okay. So that is one thing I absolutely want to say. I also also want to add berberine may also cause allergic reactions in some people. It is a plant alkaloid. So for those who are allergic to plants, Oh, in, in any, you know, shape, form, or fashion, that is a relative uh, contraindication or something that needs to be considered. Okay. I have to sort of end this podcast with a big thanks, a big thank you to one of our clinical partners. Absolutely have to do that. Full scripts. Thank you so much for being a clinical partner for us here at SIVA Health and at the SIVA Institute. Full scripts, you are making it so easy for us to provide safe, evidence based care. Full scripts just makes it easy to get all of your quality supplements in one place, under one roof, under the guidance of your healthcare professional. We at Siva Health love full scripts because they help us help our patients and clients save time and save money. All of our supplement recommendations are in one place, under one roof, very affordable, tightly, tightly regulated in terms of the science. We have safe insights. We have actual clinical protocols that we use on a daily basis, and it helps us remove the guesswork for our patients and uh, coaching clients. And, you know, full scripts is just great for us because, you know, I always ask, can you afford to keep taking chances with your health? Can you afford in this economy to keep wasting money on supplements that don't work and that are just manufacturers in place, manufactured in places that you just wouldn't even want to know? I don't think you want to do that. So our partner in health is Full Scripts that we choose here at the SIVA Health. Thank you so much to Full Scripts for being there for us to make the science simple, to help our patients and clients save money, save time, and remove the guesswork. If you want to see what Full Scripts is all about for yourself, I'm going to drop that link in the show notes, https us.fullscript.com forward slash welcome 
forward slash Siva Well Care. You can use that link to create your own full script account to talk with me about berberine more in depth. And I'm going to drop a link in the show notes as well. I want you guys to really get some results in your lives this year. I really do. I want you to live longer, live better, change your life, not just your symptoms. I'm going to drop the link to a free 20 minute discovery call or just, you know, success call. I call it the vision to victory, you know, coaching call because I want you to move from just the vision of good health to actually celebrating the victory of good health. Okay. So a 20 minute call just to talk about what you've heard on this podcast, how you can start testing, not guessing, and how you can really start saving time and money by using actual clinical protocols that I use in my clinical practice. Just take the guesswork out of your healthcare and take the stress work out of your life. Okay. So I'm going to wrap up by saying that is it for Healthy House Calls with Angel in this episode, Getting Better with Berberine. I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope that you've got the tools now to make some better decisions in your health and wellness plan that you're going to go to your healthcare provider and say, Hey, I listened to this really good episode of healthy house calls with angel. And I want to talk about how to improve my gut health, how I can lower my cholesterol, how I can rein in, you know, my blood sugar, if it's elevated or just help keep regular healthy blood sugar levels, better weight, you know, all of this good preventive medicine is available to you more now than ever before. Take action, folks. Don't sit on the fences with this. Take action that will help you change your life, not just your symptoms. That will help you live longer and live better. Okay? So thank you so much for joining in on this episode with me. If you are not dialed into my newsletter, Healthy House Calls with Angel, got the show notes uh, link, got the link in the show notes for you. Check that out. Get dialed into that newsletter. I've got two or three really good freebies for you on the website, sivahealthgroup.com forward slash start here. Got a nice ebook for you on download there. Got another really good download for you with paleo. I'm going to do an episode on that. Everything you need to live longer and live better is here at Siva Health and the Siva Institute. Lastly, if you are looking for community, if you are looking for a safe, private, members-only community where you can start working on these skills, if you are tired of chasing the same goals year after year after year and never achieving any of them, if you are tired of putting your health and your well-being on the back burner, If you've been frustrated living the life you've been told you should have and not the one you actually want, (laughs) if you're just feeling like life is just one vicious cycle of being tired, wired, and uninspired, if you know that it is time, it is time to design the life you deserve instead of wishing and waiting and settling for the life you've been told you should have, I want you to come on over to the SIVA Circle. I want you to come into a safe, private, members-only community where you can start working on these life design skills and so much more, so much more. And why is this important? It's important because you can achieve more in community than you can ever possibly achieve alone. And you probably already know that if you've been struggling, losing weight, struggling with changing your diet, struggling with figuring out, you know, which supplements are which, if you've been struggling and you are still struggling, it is time to do something different. It is time to make a change. It is time to change your mindset about what is possible for you. It is time to be in community with other people who are working on mindset shifts that are absolutely necessary for success, absolutely necessary for better health, absolutely necessary for changing your life, not just your symptoms. 
So that's it for this episode today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you know everything you need to know about getting better with berberine now. Everything you've ever wanted to know about getting better with berberine. Do me a favor, jump in those show notes, grab those free resources, grab those free resources, F-R-E-E, free resources. Get on my mailing list, another free resources. First off, top of the week, Monday Mas- Mindset Mastery, getting your mindset right, helping you launch every single week with clarity, courage, and confidence. On Wednesdays, we've got Wednesday Wellness, okay? And on Thursdays, we've got a special edition that comes out specifically on neuroendocrine wellness. So that's all about food, mood, and mental health. If you're not getting that uh, newsletter, if you are a subscriber, send me a message and say, hey, include me on that Thursday edition. It is specifically for neuroendocrine, HPA access, food, mood, and mental health stuff. Check me out on Instagram. Follow me at at Angel V. Shannon dot com um, or at Angel V. Shannon on Instagram. I am live every single Friday with some good Friday vibes for you. Friday wrap ups, all kinds of good stuff on there. If you're on LinkedIn, you can follow me at the same handle, linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash Angel V. Shannon. Lots of places to find me. Okay. Take good care. Be well, be good to yourself and never, ever, 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 ever ever be afraid to be amazing. Take good care. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in to Healthy House Calls with Angel. I hope today's episode leaves you feeling inspired, motivated, and empowered to live your best life by applying the practical tools of holistic lifestyle medicine to eat, sleep, move, and live better. Please don't forget to subscribe wherever you receive this podcast, check in for show notes, and share this podcast with friends. If you'd like even more tips in your inbox, subscribe to my newsletter. Letter, Healthy House Calls with Angel by using the link in the show description. Until next time, be well and be good to yourself.